Well, hello and welcome back to another little geeky reviews with me, Joe. I know I've said in previous videos that I was not going to go down the whole rabbit hole of the turtles of Grayskull line, but here we are again. So this time we are going to go through Mouse Jaw. Now Mouse Jaw comes with the Collect and Builder figure, Metal Botto. It is the one of four. Uh, so the other ones, I know Splinter or Splinter Skull has one, uh, Slaker or Slacker, and then the fourth. is the two bop steady one that is due for release I think around October time to finish this one off. So the uh, trap jaw comes in a big chunky old box compared to the other variations of releases like Beastman for instance and on the back it's got the artwork of trap jaw standing outside Castle Grey Skull with Leonardo and also Tila as well. But let's crack this bad boy open and get a little closer look. Getting him out of the box, he comes with just the card type of stuff. There's no comic. Now this version, it hasn't got like the skills and stuff on. It's just got the name logo. So I'm not going to take it out the bag. It is just one flat card. So with the articulation, on this guy it is the same as all the other origins the head bubbles 360 elbows hands waist the usual all the usual stuff and it's all modular so the all all the parts do pop off head arms waist and also the actual i presume does the feet yeah so kind enough on like the whole boot cuff so all of that stuff pops off but now he comes with this like white helmet as Joe actually does move up and down as well and then he's got this big arm piece now although this moves does this this also pops off as well He's got an elbow joint, does it twist, and it twists left and right. Now he comes with this, like, I suppose, fire blaster type of effect, which we've seen on, like, Stridor, and also Night Stalker, and the actual collector vehicle as well. And it's just got, like, a little peggy thing going in there, like so. Now... The detail on this guy, what I'm really liking is the actual, the feet on this. So we can see it's a completely re different mould. It's like little hooves kind of thing going on. Now on his belt, he doesn't come, although in the pack, it's got all of the actual little gun pieces like Roboto. That is for Metal Botto. So he doesn't come with his usual like claw hand, the hook hand type of stuff. But he does have on his little green belt here, two little peggy holes. And the detail on the belt while we're just there has got the little shell with the crossbones on there. Now, he does come. I just set him down a moment. He does come with this little gadget guy. So now, his jaw does open up, his head does twist left and right, and he's got like a little peggy for the little tail here as well. Now if we take this blaster out, that's where that goes, but his legs, although they are, they just go back and forth, they peg out like so and then his belt 
has got these two peggy hills where they would just slot in to them and now he's got this big mouse jaw type of extended arm it doesn't I wish this little Peggy was on a pivot because when you extend his arm out it just looks up so to get it on an angle you've just got to kind of bring it down but it would have been better if that would have been on a pivot so it would have been fully straightened out now when you open the actual mouth on this little thing it's got another peggy hole where you can extend it even further and have that blaster coming out of that effect as well now he doesn't stand with all this being quite weighty it's very difficult for him to stand because he will just keep on toppling over you've got to adjust that blasted over into the center to give him good balance really but I'm not going to display him with all the stuff with all the other figures so as you can see we've got quite a bit going on there's more shells going on underneath there I've even got stuff going off over onto the side but I'm going to probably have this separate and have this little pet thing <laughs> on his own let's see how well this guy stands I mean he stands okay I don't know whether I'll keep that blaster in I'm not a, I'm not a lover of these to be fair so, so that's why I wish he had have come with a little hook hand or something accessory I mean I do have this little case I'll say little it's quite big really with all like me extra little weapons and stuff that we've collected over time so we suppose if we mooch through all of this stuff there we go I've got one of the black trapdoor accessories there I mean I know it would have been better in white if we had of one but that's how I'm probably gonna have them displayed with the others but let me know your thoughts on this one guys what do you think of them um, how many of you started to collect through this line are you gonna commit to all of them again I've, I've said it in previous ones I didn't know whether I am or not but it looks as though I'm practically there now anyway with the whole commitment of it but yeah drop those comments in the box while you're there do the usual with the like subscribe tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others but thanks for checking in on this one and i will see you on the next take care